Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro Sigismondi and today I'm editing your photos for Instagram. First of all, thank you so much for sending me such amazing pictures. I'm honored and proud to be part of this community and to have people so wonderful as you that follows my journey. And I'm not here to teach you, I'm just here to share my journey and my impressions on your work in this case. But, I mean, let's build this together. I want to start with visuals. Visuals, you're amazing. First of all, all your photos are so special to me because I started my photo and video career journey, let's say, it. I like it more, exactly in that city in South India, Mysore. So I went there for the first time in 2011. For around four years, I've been going there every season. I've been taking hundreds, thousands maybe of photos of yogis and videos as well. And uh, it's been a great time. It helped me a lot to start and build this community and starting my photography journey. But there was one thing that I was not totally sure about it. Basically the thing that I was a Westerner. I was a Westerner in India taking yoga photos. I was feeling always a little bit, yeah, I'm an outsider. I'm not from here. I would never be from here, even when I used to live there for a while. So I've been so happy when I started seeing the photos that Vishwas was doing in Mysore, because it's from there. This photo that Vishwas sent me is amazing. First of all, it's a raw picture. So you see the colors that don't pop, it's because it is taken in RAW. So if you are photographers, you know it, you always want to shoot in RAW because then you can do more in post. You can play more with colors, with everything, with exposure, whatever, even white balance. So this photo, it's really good. I could edit it in few ways, but I remind now what I'm doing that is editing for Instagram. So the only point is that I was feeling that uh, in a, if we put it in a square, we lose a little bit something. We lose the reflection, we lose some stuff. So I did quite um, important edit, let's say, in this picture. Even if I really like it like that, it Potentially, there was no need of any editing, just opening a little bit the lights and uh, contrasting a little bit more, making the color pop, and that's all. But instead, this is what I did. So as you can see it here, I made the colors warmer, I gave back this warm sunset feeling to the picture, and uh, open the lights so we can see the face, make the subject pop a little bit more, crushing the blacks. But then I sent it to Photoshop and I did more. As you can see here, I copied and pasted the trees in the background to frame the subject. Then I changed the rocks to have a reflection closer in the square. The raw picture was a great photo, Generally, I think this is a photo that can work a little bit better on Instagram. So that's why I did this edit. So let's go to the next. Here is Paula. Paula, I think you saw her already because it's a photo of her that I took here in uh, Torino, in front of the castle that I used to launch this Fix Your Photo Challenge. So here is Paula upside down. This is nice. I just did a little bit of a change because it's fall now in the northern hemisphere. So I think, oh, sometimes you don't use a photo because you say, oh, now it's autumn, this, all these autumn leaves are so beautiful. And then, you know, this picture looks a little bit more like spring. So here it is, autumn vibe. <laughs> I did it very quick. You can spend more time and uh, fix the color better. But 
I think it gives an idea. Here is Julia, and this photo is taken by Karim. The photo is perfect. It's the focus is perfect, the composition is perfect, so no much to do. I did an experiment because personally, I think in this kind of picture, having a background that is a little bit messy, like in this case, we see on her uh, right, uh, a couple of people, we see uh, too many elements. I think just having a blurred background is enough. So I did that in Photoshop. This is just to explain that probably in a situation like that, I would rather choose a longer lens, like the classic 7200, and blur the background more, just to isolate the subject a little bit more. Here is now Rata. Thank you for sending me many photos. Obviously, this is a selfie, and it's different from a couple other photos we saw that are clearly taken by someone else, a photographer in most case. Um, here, Rata took the photo herself, but there's something in this picture. I like the attitude, and, uh, but I don't like the mirror in the background, it's a little bit messy. So, when you have a photo like that, that you kind of like it, you did it yourself or you don't know really what to do with it, you're not really sure. That is something to just play a bit and do something totally different. Like here, I just took the photo, uh, converted it in black and white and then mirrored it uh, twice on the side and then also reflection. So here is Titi, I love this door. Oh, this door is amazing, posture is amazing, everything's perfect, but here is what I explained when you edit photos for Instagram. This picture on Instagram, unfortunately, doesn't work well because think about it, we crop it square, you know, it becomes like that. So what to do? My idea was to drastically move the sculpture down like that. Now I want to explain something that I think is really important when taking a photo, that is the angle you choose for taking the picture. So let's take this example. We see Laura doing this pigeon pose very nicely, and we also see a mountain in the background. It's a little bit overcast by um, clouds, but still it's an amazing backdrop. What's the problem? If we edit this picture for Instagram and we crop it square, we want the person, of course, we miss the mountain. So how can we have both? I did this creating some layers and putting together in Photoshop, but actually you don't need to over edit anything. If just you take the picture, positioning yourself with the camera lower, you will get the subject and in the background as well the mountain. These were, I think, the photos that inspired me more that I received. Um, I received many more. I'm definitely getting inspired by all of you and I hope to inspire you as well. So go out, do some yoga, take some photos, have fun, life is beautiful. Ciao. Namaste.